Hi, I'm George Kenny, uh, Managing Director of Shepherd Ventures, a California venture capital fund, and the founder of the Entrepreneur Bootcamp. This video today is to talk about why the Entrepreneur Bootcamp and what it can do for you. So I'd like to start off by asking for a show of hands of you out there. How many of you would like to be rich? Now come on, raise your hand. I want to be rich. Do you want to be rich? And frankly, if you're not raising your hand, you might be asking yourself, well, why am I listening to this video? Let's talk about uh, what the Entrepreneur Bootcamp can do for you. First of all, I have looked at many, many deals and uh, about 2,000 deals in order to fund 18 in Shepherd Ventures. That's about 1% of all deals get funded. And that's pretty standard for the venture capital industry. Angels have a little higher funding ratio, but basically the chance of an entrepreneur raising money from either angels or from venture capital firms is pretty low. And my observation after looking at many, many deals is the primary reason is messaging, that the messaging is unclear. So you may have a great idea and a great product or a great service, but the messaging can be improved. If you're an engineer, it's called like an impedance mismatch between the entrepreneur and your great idea and the investor who uh, really wants to make money. He's not that interested in your product, but he wants to make money. And so the messaging uh, needs to be worked on in general to uh, reduce this impedance mismatch between your great idea and the money. So that's the purpose of the boot camp. And the boot camp uh, lasts about six weeks if you're doing it in person. Of course, if you're doing it online, you can do it at your own pace. There are uh, many aspects that come together in the boot camp, and I'm going to discuss five of those aspects today. The first is the uh, elevator pitch, or also I call it the the nugget. And the nugget is to break is it allows you to break through. Um, the noise with an elevator pitch that excites the investors in 30 seconds. Uh, there's something called Kleiner's Law, who uh, that's named after Gene Kleiner, a famous venture capitalist, who said, create excitement and the money will follow. And he means create the excitement within 30 seconds. And the corollary to that is if you bore me or confuse me, you're not going to get any money. So the, the real purpose of the elevator pitch is only twofold. You're not going to raise money on the elevator pitch. And many, VC, uh, many uh, VCs have heard elevator pitches that go on and on and on and on because you're really trying to sell. But the second part of the importance of the elevator pitch is to get permission to give your story. If you don't get permission, then the entrepreneur will not have the attention of the investor and it means you're kind of wasting your time. So remember, the, the nugget or the elevator pitch only has two purposes. One, to create excitement. You want the hairs on the back of the head of the investor to stand up. You want to get their attention. And then you want permission to give your presentation. You want the investors to say, tell me more. And you have to do this in about 30 seconds. You don't have much longer. This is a very challenging, uh, this is a very challenging exercise and it takes a long time. Many entrepreneurs say, oh, I've got an elevator pitch uh, that is actually too long and not very exciting, but I can fix it in an hour. Uh, trust me, it takes much longer than that. And there's a whole section later on about uh, the elevator pitch and or the nugget and how to construct it and how to test it and how to refine it or polish that nugget so that you're 